Yo, 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 what's up? Can you all hear me right now? What's up, Hero? How are you, man? What is going on? I have not actually streamed since Christmas. Man, what a freaking... Some time it's been. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, Just checking. You can hear the audio, right? I can't hear the audio from my side. Okay, no, I can. It's just really quiet. I don't know if I turn that up. We're going to be playing the famous online game that everyone loves. I don't know how long for. I only just got home like 30 minutes ago. So, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going in. We're going into the famous... <coughs> famous indie online game. That you know, we all... No one love. Are you all ready for this? So you shouldn't be able to hear my PC audio. I turned that off. But you should be able to hear the Xbox. And I just tested it. Now, it looks like we're good. Who knows how long I'll be live here for. Well, we'll see. Possibly I'll get some people coming here. Ugh, you're too high level. Too high level. Why do you still play this game? Too high level. I can play whatever the, whatever I want, bro. I can play literally whatever I want. Happy Easter. Oh, we've got chocolate here. I got chocolate here. I got... I had a coffee. I still have a bit of coffee left, actually. It's finished now. Um, yeah, no, we, we're going in. This is the famous online game. Well, not here. This is a story, obviously. Uh, we're going to go here. For some reason, I can't hear my audio. How was the audio on the stream? Is it good? It's been a while since I streamed. <coughs> oh, my controller keeps doing this. It keeps doing that, bro. Like it's, it's so, <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I hate this controller. I hate it, especially when you're playing Tekken online ranked, and then this freaking controller just disconnects, and then you all of a sudden you come back, and they're spamming. Anyway, oh man, famous indie online game. Oh, I got full snacks. I guess you get a collection like this <coughs> the majority shareholder. You're gonna have to work that off in the gym, boss. Uh we're gonna What are we what are we doing? What are we actually doing right now? Mm -hmm. We're going to the Cluck and Bell raid, obviously. We're gonna practice speed running that. Hello there. <coughs> uh let's How grab my to drag HSW even. oh yeah oh yeah gotta love this famous indie online game that we all you know we all love this game right oh yeah look at my money oh my god I'm a hacker no I'm not a hacker <coughs> Uh, what I need to do actually is my dailies. I actually haven't played this game for like two, three days now. Um, I'm gonna start with my dailies. We're gonna get into the Cluck and Bell raid in a minute. Okay, we're gonna start with this um, RC Bandito time trial real quick.
should be easy. I mean, this one usually takes a few tries, but it's not too bad, actually, if you think about it. Not too bad, not too bad. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. I still got a bit of a cold from like a month ago and um, the lack of uploads as well. I'm very sorry about that. I will be back into that soon. This is actually, I think this is like my official first GTA Online stream. Like the ver my very first GTA Online like stream where I'm just playing it live. I have done it before with GTA OG, but that that actually got shut down. GTA OG, the one on the PS um the PS3 emulator, they actually got shut down a couple. I think about a week ago. Oh, hold on. Should get this. Junk energy time trial here. Stash house. Oh, sort of, man, I cannot be bothered going all the way up there. I'm probably not going to do the stash house. Probably not going to do that. Oh, nice. Yep, yeah, nice, no, great. Like this bike a lot, but yeah. Quite difficult going upstairs, but anyway. <clears throat> but you know, I thought I would um, thought I'd actually stream like GTA Online. This is my main character, the character that I've had for all these years. I should probably do like a like a garage tour or something. That would be pretty cool. But I don't know if anyone would want to watch like a full like garage tour. It'd be like 40, 50 minutes maybe. I don't know. Probably like an hour, depending. I could do one. <coughs> Excuse me. I was actually going to do one in October. Back in October when the um, 10 year anniversary happened. But, yeah, yeah. Never got around to that because I got too busy. And still too busy now, to be honest. And, um, tomorrow will be extremely busy. Um, and Friday too, so I'm you know, just playing tonight. Play this for a couple of hours, go to bed, wake up, and then I'll be freaking working for like probably the whole day. <laughs> but I'll be at home though, so yeah. Probably go out for a walk though. You know, just do random stuff. Oh, that's already a restart. <coughs> <coughs> I actually just not wear this headset and I just take it off. Alright. This is usual shenanigans in GTA Online. Man, this game like gets boring though, doesn't it? I have been like so bored in this game. Yeah, see, here you already know it. This game is extremely boring. Yeah, um, here I am. <laughs> Gonna be speedrunning a freaking thing in a minute. <coughs> Look at that. That's a good time, actually. That's what's that? One twenty-six. I'll take that. All right. Uh, is it time? Or should I, actually, should I go to the casino? I'm gonna go to the casino real quick, and then we'll go from there. 
me head around to the casino real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, why do I still play this? Oh, hey, everyone watching. Look, oh, my hacker. Oh, my God, man. My hacker. Yeah, definitely hacking. No. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna go to the casino, we're gonna spin the wheel, and then we're gonna start speedrunning this. Oh! That, um, that distracted me. <coughs> I'm not actually gonna do the Alice Tourist board today. Because I just don't feel like doing it, but, uh, yeah. We'll go through, we'll do this. The big update coming to this game probably June. Should do more streams of GTA Online, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I will. <coughs> I mean, I barely play this game anymore, so yeah, you know what it is. And there's my controller again. I uh, forgot. It was a slam truck this week. I already have one. But, you know. Let's see what I get. No, I was going to get 40k for that. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I think it's time that we actually go and speed run this. Uh, there's a little trick actually I saw. I think I saw it on Instagram or maybe it was on Twitter. Um, that Rockstar actually left like weapons in their testing location. So there's a, there's a spot by the locker, which I'll show you right now actually. This is really interesting. <coughs> We'll head on over there, I'll show you. Careful that guy. Uh, where's the lockup? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, so this is the lockup that you always deliver the stuff to, right? This used to be used in a lot of old contact missions back in the old days. All you want to do in the, on the weapons prep is literally just climb up here, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is what it was. <coughs> I only saw this like the other day. I haven't tried it yet. But like... There's a bug on my screen. Uh, yeah, like you come down here. Apparently like you just go in first person and you just like run along this wall. And you'll be able to get like the weapons like that and it's actually crazy and I'm gonna try that out might as well try that out right um, should I just jump off this now nah, it's just let's just go back down but yeah no we're gonna we're gonna try that I don't know if I'll probably end the stream when I finish the speed run should I put a timer up I don't know if I put a timer up I might actually put a timer up we'll see <coughs> uh, what I do for this also is I also put my spawn location to my agency because I have the agency that's right next to the police station when you start the mission. So, okay. Uh, every time I find new session, um, I will be spawning in my agency. So, that'll be good. That will be very good. But yeah, let's do this. Um, yeah, let's head over to Vincent and we're going to get this done. Uh, it's nice that they lock like the futuristic vehicles so you can't use an oppressor or you can't use your deluxos or anything. Which is good because it's like. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, this actually feels like GTA again. This. Um, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Probably put a timer up. Yeah, we'll probably put a timer up, eh? Why not? Uh, where's my thing? There it is. It's taking a little bit to open. My controller just died again. Usual stuff. It's when I like put it down, it just like it just dies for a sec. It's weird. It's very weird. Oh no, I just accidentally opened Minecraft. No. <coughs> no, I don't want to play Minecraft right now. Um, okay, the time is there. If I just... Oh, the Game Pass thing came up because I opened up Minecraft on my PC. <laughs> Can I control it? Thank you. Uh, what should I do? We need window texture. Just need that one. This <laughs> is a wrath of cortex. Why is it wrath of cortex? Ah, there it is. We got it. You know, I was trying to open this timer, the speedrun timer, and um. <laughs> Uh, because it's like Minecraft's on my taskbar. I was trying to go back into Streamlabs. I accidentally clicked on the Minecraft launcher because I put it right next to it. <laughs> uh, you guys can see the timer, right? Yep, you guys can see the timer. Let's just see. So, one. Press one to start it, one to stop it, and reset. Okay, okay. That's easy. That's easy enough. Alright. <coughs> We're gonna do this. This is gonna be cool. I'm excited about this. Hey man, what you doing? Uh, yee, here we go. Here we go. Um, so I don't know when to start the timer. I, I, I haven't really watched any official speed runs. Uh, obviously, we'll go for the aggressive approach. Okay, I'm gonna get copyrighted here if I don't turn this off. Because I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I hate how Rockstar never updated these menus. Anyway, um, I guess the timer will start when I press play, right? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Let's make sure. My controller! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay. <coughs> Off to a great start. So, oh my. Look at this. Yes, controller. I understand. Can we please play the game? Oh, hang on. I only bought this controller like in July. Was it July? I think it was July. Oh my god, it, it's not. Can I please play the game? Microsoft. Oh my. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna start this. Okay, it's just gonna do that again. Um. Control, okay, I'm swapping controllers. I'm swapping controllers. Um, this white, white controller is not good. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Honestly, I'm going to go back to my original Series X controller that doesn't even have, like, the freaking, like, rubber thing on it now. <coughs> so, we're just going to go back to my old, my old controller. Yeah, very silly, very silly. Are we good? Don't tell me this is connected to my PC. Now this controller is doing it. Can I please play the game? <laughs> okay. Go. Man, finally. Can I actually play the game now? Let's go. Stupid controllers. Look at these dumb controllers, bro. Come on. 
We speed running. We speed running. got to be careful of these civilians too. I don't really know like the whole career like route for the speed run. Let me just move that off. There we go. Okay, now I haven't played this game for like two days, so who knows how this gunfight's gonna go. Uh, why do I have that? There we go. Better. I want to stay in first person. Do I have grenades? I do have grenades. I want to throw a grenade because a guy comes in. I think I got him. Should have got him. By the way, I will be able to assist you with my LSPD privileges. Accessing their database and communications is a perk of the job. One that will prove useful throughout this venture, I'm certain. You hear that original heist soundtrack? So nostalgic. Alright, let's go. <coughs> First spot down. That was actually pretty decent. That was actually pretty decent. close I am to a billion dollars though. I have 956 million. It's going to take me some time because I'm so bored of this game now. I've been playing like the old GTAs. We've been playing a lot of Tekken 8 recently so. Which I'm kind of need a break from the game. Ah, that's not good. Probably, yeah, I'm gonna throw a grenade there, it should be good. Perfect, I killed all of them. They killed all of them, that's, that's, that's nice, that's nice. <coughs> Chuck a grenade. That guy should walk in, and boom. Yeah, I love that. We're going to try to get into streaming more often again. I, I just haven't done it. It's probably good if I do, because like, I don't really have time to edit videos anymore. Although I probably will soon. But like, yeah, I should like do some streams. More streams. More Rainbow Miser, maybe. Like back like, um, like I used to do. You used to get a lot of people coming through to watch those. A lot of fun. <coughs> used to do like the once a week like randomizer streams. Could probably do GTA 5 randomizer actually. That could be fun. Gotta do that soon. Gotta do it soon. Will I go back to an old one like Vice City or San Andreas or Eva 3? Careful of the AI here. Now the question is, did Rockstar patch it yet? Like, did they did they patch the thing that I was showing before with like the weapons? I mean, if they have, it's no problem. We can just I just go to the yacht anyway, and steal the weapons and armor from the yacht since it's the easiest one.
Actually, the last time I did this was when I was going for the awards. So I have all the awards for, um, for this now. Alright, there we go. First mission down in five minutes. Five minutes for that. Five minutes. It's actually... <coughs> not too bad, bro. Not too bad. Yeah, the stream looks good on my side. Right, well, the fact that I've got this, like... <coughs> can actually stream, like, console games... Again. It's always good. That means I can stream more GTA Online from this character. Probably best thing to do is just find your session because like my agency is like right there. <coughs> Remember I used to like speed run Kaya Heist as well. I, I completely went off that. I haven't even speed ran that for since twenty twenty one. Alright, let's go. I have full snacks, I checked that, so we should be good. I don't really care about body armor in this game. I got 40k in the wall safe, that's actually not too bad. I just leave that in there and just wait for it to fill up and then collect it. Looking good, boss. Looking good, boss. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I mean, my character does look good. Okay. I thought I saw an Infernus over there. Good old Infernus. I don't like nobody playing on my phone. <coughs> Alright, breaking and entering. This is the one where we drive the train. This is so sick, this one. I love it. I actually love this one so much. Uh, yeah, let's just go. I don't need to refill my ammo because I've got a lot of ammo. And I should have more than enough for the speed run. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good night tonight, or good day, or have had a good day. Uh, I have had an interesting day, as usual. Um, very busy, very busy. Just look at that. I mean, look, look. Over ten years later, that still looks good. Come on, you can't, you can't deny that. Come on. Oh, is this the guy? This is the dude. Oh, got him. <laughs> I got him. Let's get out of here. Now we're gonna go get the train. Oh no, the train, the terabyte. Yeah, we're gonna get the terabyte. We're gonna hit the terabyte. And then. Then we go hit the train. That's right. Should be easy enough. Ah, terabyte's in the next spot. So we wanna go this way. Probably come through here. Cut through here. And be right here. Should be. Oh, wait, it's in. Okay, it's over here. It's this one. I thought it would be the other spot. Uh, it's up this way, I'm pretty sure. 
kid or whatever. They get close to it. It's just practice. So we're just practicing for now. Should be fun. The explosive shotgun. Oh, the pump shotgun Mark II is the best here. You have the explosive rounds. You can just take out the drones like so easily. Just lock onto them like this. Oh, I'm reloading. It's alright. Should be the last of them. I actually forgot I was wearing my blue hoodie. Thought I still had my red one on. That's alright. I kind of like the blue. I kind of like. Not bored of the red. I don't know. The blue just looks good. Like, hey man, good to see you, man. How have you been? How have you been? We're actually doing some GTA Online. <laughs> Never. This is like my first stream of GTA Online on my main character. Uh, I'm not really focusing. <laughs> Alright, we got the key. Just uh, don't mind my level, bro. <laughs> This is my original character from 2013. So that's why he's kind of a kind of high level, real high level. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get this. I gotta remember to like actually activate the hacking device here because like every time I get here I always like well I mean like you're just driving a straight line the whole time basically and I kind of like forget <coughs> why is it blue it's red on your profile yeah the red one is my main one because uh, red is my favorite but this this is a um, alternate outfit that I made I think about a year ago now, uh, because I was bored of the red. <laughs> but I could put the red on after this. I mean, I have like swapped back to the red, like since I made this outfit. But like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just like swap between all my outfits. I'll probably swap back to the red actually. <coughs> When you stream to your Xbox, where do you plug in the mic? You should be able to plug it into your controller. I'm using my um, Elgato, so everything's plugged into my PC at the moment. But um, you should be able to use your controller to plug in your headset. If, you, if you're using a headset mic, like that is. But other than that, I'm not actually too sure. Because I never really like streamed directly from my Xbox before. Dropping like flies, eh? Power of the damn train. <laughs> you know it, man. You know, the fact that they let us drive the train like this after all these years. <coughs> I mean, you do have that mission in the story. Uh, derailed when you, when you like, hijack the train with Trevor. But does that really count too? I mean, you know. Does that really count? Don't mind my level, by the way. I mean, I just played this game way too much over the years. Literally, like, barely play this game anymore. <laughs> Probably, like, once or twice. Maybe three times a week. 
gonna play this game. Yeah, we'll swap back to the red. We'll swap back to the red outfit. Uh, we're gonna. No. Appearance, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I hope everyone had a good Easter. I still got like a chocolate bunny here. I'm been slowly eating. Mmm. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Never play GTA Online. Is it worth playing? I mean, yeah. I mean, this was my original character from 2013. I've always like had this character. Um. Yeah, if you want to get into it, I mean, it's definitely fun, like, to play with friends. Uh, but when you play by yourself, it gets really boring. Right now, I'm, like, I'm not playing with anyone. I'm just playing on my own, but, um... Yeah, no, I think it's definitely worth getting into. I mean, obviously, you know, GTA 6 is coming out next year, so... But, like, you got a lot of content to catch up on, honestly. Like, there's so much to do in GTA Online now. <coughs> but definitely if you want to give it a try go ahead man <coughs> just watch out for like the oppressors and um, flying car deluxo and flying bikes all that futuristic stuff that we didn't need in a GTA game <laughs> Alright, so see, here's a trick here, right? Let me just climb over here. Alright then, stand by for your target locations. If they patched this, it's fine. I don't mind if they did, but yeah. <coughs> All you need to do, I think, because like, apparently they use this spot right here as a test location. It's so dumb. Is this it? Yep. That's it. That's literally it. They forgot. <laughs> they straight up forgot to take that, like, like, patch that. That's their test location. Look at this. You can just be that fast. Oh. Is there another spot? Uh, I'm actually not sure. Let me have a look at this. I mean, I'm just, like, testing this. Obviously, I'm not, like, actually going to do it. Like, I mean, Bomber already am, aren't I? Oh, there it is. There it is. There should be both weapons and gear at these locations. I dropped it, apparently. <laughs> That's why. Maybe you're right. I think I should play GTA Online while waiting for GTA 6. Actually, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, definitely jump into GTA Online. There's a lot of content to keep you, you know interested until GTA 6 comes out. It's definitely a lot to do. You got like a casino heist, you got Cape Rico heist. Oh wait, it just what? I'm very confused. I am very confused right now. You know what? I'll just go to the spot. <coughs> So that's the the test thing. I don't really know how to properly do that. Like, there's the test location for the weapons. It's so dumb. And they never like they never patched it. And like, I'm not sure how to actually like fully do it. I'm not gonna fully do it because like, I just might as well just play the game, right? Might as well do this legit. We're gonna probably do another stream of this like in the weekend or something. I think. Or do another speed run with this heist? I don't know.
Yeah, once again, like, I apologize for, like, the lack of uploads recently and just lack of everything on this channel. I mean, I've just been so busy recently. She, you know, gave me the idea today, like, maybe I should just stream more, because I just, I don't really have time to, like, edit videos much anymore, unfortunately. <coughs> There's a time skip between GTA Online and GTA 5 events. Yeah, yeah, no, there is. Um, everything until after the original heists in GTA Online is before the single player. And then, pretty much, I think, how I see it is everything after the original heists. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, after the original heists, it's after the story. So... GTA Online like starts off before like the events of GTA 5 but then after that it goes to like 2017 and then uh, now currently like it's 2024 in GTA Online now because like, it moves with the current year basically it's really hard to explain but yeah You could say that GTA Online has a story. It kind of does, if you think about it. This boat reminds me of the one mission where we play as Michael to get Jessica back on. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, um, I'm pretty sure that's the same yacht from the mission with Michael. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. But if... Actually, yeah, if you do get into GTA Online, um, this, this, like, little heist just came out. You can just play it from level 1, like, straight away. You can, like, straight away just play it from level 1, and every time you complete, you get 500k, right? Then you can save up for your Kasaka, and then you can do Kaipa Rico, and then you'll have so much money. <coughs> Do Kaya Perico a couple of times and then like you'll have like enough money to buy like a lot of cars and businesses and stuff. So it's pretty easy to catch up. See, like, it did count. <laughs> it did count. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Like, the test location. I don't think I'll do that again, like, that whole test location. Is it true that one million is worth nothing in GTA Online? Yes. <laughs> if you're playing the game back in 2013 on 360 and PS3, one million is a lot back then. Right, 10 years ago. Now, 1 million is worth nothing at all. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I grinded, I grinded up to 956 million. And, like, I grinded this level too. It was not a fast process. I mean, it took me about five, almost five years, actually almost six years, of this game being out to get to the book thousand. And then after Kaya Perico came out, and then like the auto shop and stuff, I was able to get <coughs> excuse me, I was able to you know grind like so much money in just like a little amount of time. Because I my interest in the game came back for like a long time. And then it kind of died off again in 2024. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely inflation. Just like real life. Just like real life. <laughs> but now nah, I've just had so many good memories on this game. And it's like... <coughs> excuse me. It's like... I... It's kind of sad... To see it go. 
but at the same time it's very exciting. GTA 6 Online will be more realistic with social media and stuff. Are you excited to play GTA 6 Online? I am very excited actually to check out GTA 6 Online when that comes out. <coughs> I definitely do not want to have this character though because I have so much like stuff. Um, I would want to start a brand new character. Start fresh in a new game, of course. But yeah, the whole like social media thing in GTA 6 is, is going to be insane. I mean, you kind of did have it in GTA 5, like, um, Life Invader and stuff. You could like go on like Michael's Life Invader and Franklin's and Trevor's. I mean, even GTA 4 kind of had social media in a way. With, like the internet cafes you got on the internet and stuff. But I am, I'm very excited for next year. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be so sick. Can't wait. <coughs> Currently playing GTA Titan Vice. Oh yeah, that's like those like insane like hard mode mods for Vice City, right? I still need to try those out. Actually, when I when I got my PC last year, I downloaded Titan Thrice for GTA 3. But I never, like, really played it. Kind of hard yet easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen gameplay of it. It's like, it's kind of like, um, the game is completely different. Like, the missions are kind of changed up, right? <coughs> Should definitely, um, give it a try. Soon, probably soon. I mean, like I said, I'm probably gonna stream more because, like, I have just been so busy recently. It's, it's insane how busy I've been. So this right here, this is the best car to go for, you get a target A, and then you straight up just take the train tracks all the way up to Polito Bay and then park the car there and then go. Easy. Find your session, and then you will be good. Yeah, I definitely, definitely should check out some other GTA mods. I've been playing like a lot of Tekken 8 recently, I've been really enjoying that game. <coughs> Though I just needed a break from it. Because it's fun, but like, it does get annoying at times. Not when you're playing with friends though, with friends it's really fun, but when you like play ranked, it gets really annoying. <laughs> One thing bothers you? Oh yeah. Oh, the render distance? Oh, yeah, because, like, the old GTA games, right? Actually, I was playing Lost and Damned on PC the other night. Oh, actually, last night. For some reason, I, it just looks so good on my PC. Like, the col Excuse me. Like, the colors and everything. The game just looked better than ever. It was so weird. <laughs> it was a few nights ago I was playing Lost in Yeah, I think like maybe two nights ago. It was really weird, but it looks so good. And I was like, wow, this game still looks so good. Maybe it's like a mod that I accidentally installed, but man, it looked really, really good. <coughs>
Ba -ba -ba. What's the time? 10.52. Okay. Got a bit of time. Probably stream for a while. Are there other versions of GTA Lost and Damned? I am not sure. But I know you can, um... Because, like, I downgraded my entire GTA 4 on PC. Yeah, I think that's the one I got. GTA 4 version 1.8, yeah. You know, that, that's definitely the one that I have. Because, yeah, it, it, I don't know. Maybe they accidentally install. I, I'm not sure, but it just... Or maybe it's just because I haven't played it in a while. It just looks so good, honestly. But yeah, right now what I'm playing on is a Series X version of GTA Online. Expanded and enhanced, I guess. Man, this character went through three console generations. That's insane. Then again, a lot of people's characters did, right? <coughs> One thing I do need to get actually is a new chair. Because I have had this office chair since like end of 2016. What the fuck, dude? I installed GTA San Andreas movement mod and it looks really weird like Tommy's no longer fun and jogs like CJ. And it really fits the character model. Oh yeah, I should check that out. Actually, it sounds pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, but like I've seen like Titan Thrice and Titan um, Vice. I think there's like a San Andreas one that is getting work on. Now I don't think I need to hack the vans because I know where all the warehouses are. So we're gonna check. All the warehouse locations. We'll check those. We'll check the warehouse locations. Ah, this bike sometimes is, is weird. <coughs> It's named like Fright. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll check that out too. Uh, no, the warehouse. One of these ones, I'm pretty sure it's one of these ones. That's no, not that one. It might be this one. Or is it this? Nah, I don't think it'll be this door. Nah. Check the next one. Can't you like, it's probably not this one then. If I can't figure this out, I'll probably just go and hack the van. And I'll, I gotta still try and learn this. Cause like, it's just annoying like hacking the vans when you don't really need to hack the vans. <coughs> right, let me just go over here. It should be this one then, right? Yeah, there we go. Those mods are really great. Watch Josh and as he played some. Oh yeah, I, I'm actually I actually follow him. I do follow him, so I should probably check out some of those playthroughs. Should we go stealth? I was gonna go aggressive. I wouldn't mind. I, I like doing stealth. We'll speed run with stealth.
I avoid going first person in here because it's weird. Like, the gun, like, glitches out. It's so weird, honestly. Do this. Grab this. It's really impressive that he played G classic GTA trilogy for like a decade. Actually, yeah, that is. That is. I mean, I played this game for a decade. <laughs> <coughs> but I'll tell you what, the memories on this game that I've had. I got the enemies in here. Oh, getting completely shot at in an animation, Rockstar. Can't really do much about it. <laughs> Can't really do much about it, Rockstar. Right, I might as well just start sabotaging the trucks. I love the new animations. Like, look at this, so cool. <laughs> the thing is, if I was to destroy these trucks, I'd actually be going in aggressive. Because they would find out. It's a really cool mission where, like, if your actions, like, um, affect the finale. Alright, easy. Now we just continue drilling the, the lockers. <coughs> what makes him impressive is he played them start to finish each time he plays. Actually, yeah, that's true, yeah. That guy, he's like always speed running them and like doing all kinds of crazy challenges and stuff. Which I'm pretty sure on my way home I saw he was streaming. Actually, he probably still has a notification. Yeah, he's doing stunt jump speed run. What it looks like at the moment. Alright, there's nothing in there, it's annoying. At least here I get some extra money though. Right. Extra like 8,000. Nothing in there either. Wow. Oh my god, it was that one the whole time. Are you serious? <laughs> if only those guys didn't start shooting at me, I probably could have gotten that way quicker than that. Oh man. Good stuff, Rockstar. Good stuff, for Rockstar Games 2024. What's your favorite song from Vice City Radio? Um, Probably Out of Touch. All notes from Flash FM. Um, yeah, in Vice City. Oh, you, you dropped the ball on me is a good one too. I like that one. From um, San Andreas, Bouncy FM. Actually, what what's like? What's your favorite radio station in every GTA game? Actually, from like GTA Three up until GTA Five. For me, it would be like GTA 3 would be Flashback, 95.6. And then Vice City would be um, Flash FM, San Andreas would be Bouncy FM. <coughs> uh, Liberty City Stories would be probably Head Radio. Vice City Stories would be Flash FM again. Um, GTA 4. There's a few actually I really like in GTA 4. There's Electro Shock, I like Electro Shock. Um, Liberty Rock Radio is good. Uh, Lost and Damned is easily Liberty Rock Radio. 
that was, that was good. Uh, Don't let it get Tony's easily electro shock again, or probably Vladivostok actually, that would be a good one. Chinatown Wars, I don't really play Chinatown Wars. And for GTA 5, would be Ready and Mirror Park. And, uh, that's pretty much my list. Vice City, Flash FM, and San Andreas is Radio X. Nice, nice. San Andreas had such a great soundtrack though, like KDST, K Rose, um, Bounce FM, Radio Los Santos, man. Such a great game. Such a great game. Oh, GTA 3 KJAR, nice. Yeah, that's a good one too, actually. GTA 3 KJAR, yeah. I like that one. I actually got a few of those songs saved on my Spotify. <coughs> I forget what the songs are called, though, from GTA 3 KJAR. Like, The Mummy Shroud, I think, is one of them. I really like that one. Um, yeah. Really good, really good. I wonder what um, radio stations will get in um, GTA 6 though. So that'll be soon. Hopefully, hoping to see uh, Flash FM come back, maybe. But I'm sure we'll get some really good songs in that game. <coughs> I'm sure, we'll get some really good music in GTA 6. I mean, from the, the trailer, I mean. Tom Petty, Love is a Long Road is so good. <coughs> really weird to hear Travis Scott on GTA 5. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Definitely agree with that. There's like some great songs in, in this game though. Like, um, my favorite from GTA 5 is definitely Sleepwalking from the Chain Gang in 1974. If you go back to the launch trailer for GTA 5, that song is really good. But there's a few other good ones. Well done out there. Well done out there. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, let's go. Careful with the gauntlet. <coughs> yeah, the one song, Bugatti. Yeah, I, I was not expecting to hear that. Uh, that song wasn't in the original GTA 5 on 360 and PS3, but I remember when like it came out on Xbox One and PS4. I remember just driving around as Franklin and like hearing that song. Like, why is this song in GTA 5? Like, <laughs> so weird. All right, we're doing the finale. I ended up doing it stealth. Because I actually got pretty quick at doing stealth now, so quite happy with it. Okay, final assignment. Um, let's do this. When GTA Six is released, we're definitely gonna hear some TikTok songs. Oh yeah, hundred percent. We will definitely hear TikTok songs there. But I do hope we get a good selection of music. <coughs> kind of sucks that Laszlo's not at Rockstar anymore. Because he's the one that worked on the radio stations and stuff. So I don't know, like, how it's going to be. But we'll see. Alright, here we go. Stealth. Was able to get it stealth. Let's go, man. Let's go. Too good of a game. Not really. Oh, I thought I was detected. I'm right there. No. Didn't get detected. Let's go. Oh, 
sure to kill everyone in here and then grab all this. This has been a good stream. It's been a really fun stream tonight. Just had this random idea today. <laughs> we just out of nowhere, like, oh, you know what? Let's just stream GTA Online, right? <coughs> it's been fun, though. Hope GTA 6 fixes these kind of things, like suppressor. It's completely quiet. NPCs are not aware. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. They, they should really improve the stealth. I mean, GTA 5, like, the story had, like, stealth mechanics in it. Excuse me. And, um, GTA Online does have it, in a way, but not really. I mean, right now I'm doing this completely stealth. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, there's a guy gonna come in here, I know that. Ah, uh, the key is not there. I'll grab the office key now, and then I'll come back. So I know those guards don't actually walk through there. I think my controller's been weird. One fatal touch thing from GTA 5. Yeah, that, that too, actually, yeah. That was, like, so weird. Like, yeah, just, like, some NPCs, you can, like, just bump into them and they instantly die. It's so weird. This game, like, really is broken. times <laughs> <coughs> right, got the first one I'll just get the other one it should be in here and then we're good after that we can keep moving time to go I should probably stop eating that chocolate actually I'm feeling a bit sick <laughs> Save it for tomorrow. <laughs> go get like some like proper food after the stream and go to bed. Alright. Connect to the computer to initialize the hack. <coughs> okay, to there we go. First one, second one should be over here. Nice, this one. And then the next one is this way. Okay. A40491, easy. A4. Before anyone, well, maxed out GTA 6 graphics be modded GTA 5 graphics. We'll see about that actually. Very curious about that because, <coughs> like, some of the graphics models in GTA 5 are insane. Though. Should actually probably try some of them out because I mean, like, I do have the PC version, I just barely touch the PC version of the game. Oh, that's not good. That's alright, actually. I'll take it. Thank you, Rockstar. I'm out of here. Give me in. Probably will call for my bike. At least I didn't get the um the tulip. <laughs> so I won't be like flying around the train tracks. I got the um I got the impaler, so we're good. 
very decent car and a very good car actually. Oh, GTA 6 makes Red Dead 2 outdated just like Red Dead 2 outdated GTA 5 physics and stuff. I, yeah, I hope so too actually. Because yeah, Red Dead 2 still looks so amazing. And yeah, Rockstar still doesn't put um, like a 60 FPS upgrade on the current consoles. Which is why I'm actually debating on buying that game on PC. Just so I can play it on a higher frame rate. Because 30 FPS is just... I, <laughs> I think like the only games I could do 30 FPS on now is probably like the old GTA games and that's probably it. Just got so used to like everything being 60 plus FPS now. <coughs> but I don't mind 30 FPS on the old GTAs like by sitting in there, like the original trilogy. You can also just get like a, the frame limiter and just like the FPS and have like no bugs. That was very successful actually. Uh, let's grab my bike uh, vehicles. Uh, hope we don't get a year gap like other GTA releases. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope that we don't either. I really can't wait for GTA 6 though. Like that is my most anticipated game. But I'd say this year my my like game of the year will probably be Tekken. Tekken 8, because like I've been really enjoying that game. Um I don't know what other games are actually coming out this year. But we all know next year is gonna be GTA 6. <laughs> we all know that next year is gonna be GTA 6 will be the game of the year. Unless it turns out like uh, 2018 with like Red Dead and God of War. <laughs> Remember watching the Game Awards? Oh man, that's interesting. <laughs> I remember watching the Game Awards in um, 2018 and like Red Dead 2 was winning all the awards and then all of a sudden at the end it's like, oh, Game of the Year is God of War. I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm saying like I didn't deserve it. Um, what is this, man? I can't even like try my bike. Don't see me? Okay, you saw me. That's always fun. Easily lose the cops up here. The run got kind of slowed down from this point because of the, um, the cops and stuff. But you know what? I think I think this was a pretty successful first speed run of the highest. The clock and bell raid. I'm gonna do more of this. I'll probably stream again. Uh, not tomorrow, maybe. Oh, nah, not tomorrow. Not Friday either because I'm busy. But maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday. Saturday would probably be a good day to stream again. <coughs> Sometimes I hate my laptop because I'm missing numpad keyboards. Ah, oh, yeah. Man, I, I remember when I had my laptop. My gaming laptop. I was streaming on that thing. <laughs> I'm glad last year I decided to buy this PC. It was kind of like a, like a treat for me leaving my job. Probably won't talk about my old job on stream. Done. Wait for the cutscene to play and I'll stop the timer. 55 33. My first run. 55 33. I'm very happy with that actually. I I am very, very happy with this run. <coughs> that was fun, I really enjoyed that. 
probably one of my best runs yet. I'll probably keep practicing this. I'm gonna stream this again on the weekend. Actually, I could stream the um, salvage yard robberies. This week's salvage yard robberies. Next, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Well, most likely it will be the um, Clackendale Raid. <coughs> Very nice, very nice. We're gonna stay on live for a bit. Successful mission. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna like, go into my garage over here and swap my car. Get a random car from in here. This guy's on Discord. Can you message him on Discord? Hmm. It's the friend server. All good. All good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll stay on uh, live for a bit longer. Um, just, uh, probably like another hour, I'd say. Probably actually probably end at midnight and then go to bed from there. Uh, let's grab a car from here. What car haven't I used from here in a while? Nice car collection. Thank you, man. I was actually thinking of doing a video, um, like with all my cars. Because I have so many cars in this game, it's, it's insane. Lambo looks cool. Thank you, man. Yeah, a lot of a lot of cars here. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, I don't know what car I'll take from here though. I might actually take. Let's grab this. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. This is the Ignis. This came out with the contract with uh, Franklin's update. <coughs> There's also a weaponized version of this, but it's not on PC. Like, he has a minigun on top. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, we got a street dealer over there. Might as well see if I can sell anything with him. Where's the street dealer at? The, the Infernus looks better. Yeah, nah. But I've, I always love the Infernus. The Infernus is always probably going to be one of my favorite cars in GTA. Oh, I could sell my acid. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that and that. Get a bit of extra money out of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually call Mutt. I'm gonna call for my acid lab. And we're gonna see if I can sell anything from there. Should hopefully be able to. As you can see, I named it Lips 106. <laughs> That's uh, GTA 3 in the Ridge City Stories thing, radio station. <laughs> kind of want to like reference that. Eh? I don't know. I love, I love this this um, the GTA series way too much, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can't even sell you. anything from in here. It's not full. It's All bit, good. Might as well boost this exactly too. Actually, anything I could sell from any businesses or something, or maybe like another mission I could do. I kind of feel like doing another mission. But I don't know. I'm gonna. Be nice. Let's get out of here. Could do a uh, auto shop mission, maybe. Could do an auto shop mission. Do like another speed run. Do like a auto shop job. <coughs> uh, actually, I could check. Actually, what's in my nightclub? I could sell stuff in my nightclub. I see helicopters are paying to drive. Are oh, you doing that mission? That's not, That's can't really do that. not as bad as the Dodo from GTA 3. Yeah, I agree with that. 
Actually, for some time I could fly the Dodo in GTA 3. I kind of like learnt it. But this was back in 2017. <laughs> and then like I stopped playing GTA 3 for a while. And then when I went back to it, I tried flying it again and I just completely forgot how to do it. I should probably relearn it actually. <coughs> we'll go to the nightclub and we'll empty the safe. I just don't really know what else I want to do in GTA Online tonight. I mean, I kind of little what I would have wanted to do. Kind of already did that. I trying to blow up the one, one building, the one unfinished building. Yeah, that mission, demolition man, right? <laughs> man, it's been a while. Ah, oh, I mean it's fifty k. I might as well pick up the fifty k to be honest. <coughs> you can see what's in the public lobby. Do I want to go in the public session though? I don't know if I really want to. I can't be bothered, bro. <laughs> I seriously cannot be bothered going in a public session. Oh. Just the guy here. Got him. Good boss, I am good, thank you, Marcel. All right, all right, let's find something else to do. Let's find something else to do in the in the world of GTA Online. Uh, what could I do? I mean, I can't do another Clark and Bell raid. I have to wait like an hour. What I'll do is I'll bank this. Gonna bring me up to uh, nine hundred and fifty-seven point five million. That's another step close to the goal. Pretty good. <coughs> I don't really know what I want to do now. <laughs> There's another street dealer there. Actually, I just oh, I got my stash house. I could do too. What did you say to me? Hey bro, uh, give... Mm, yeah, okay, I'll just sell that. Easy 32k, I'm not really interested in uh, selling the MC businesses because it's just a pain. Backlight is really cool, yeah man. Uh, what was I... No, my vehicle. Um, you know what? Should I just do an auto shop job? I'm not gonna speed run it. I'll just like play and just talk with it. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> Fun fact: Every GTA player drives like shit. <laughs> That's true. <coughs> I mean, I'm not really driving so well in this game right now. <coughs> Actually, I could do uh, my salvage yard stuff. I could do, like, my tow truck. You know what? Yeah, let's go to the salvage yard and do, like, the tow truck um, missions. These missions are basically just reskin from the story. But you know the money's actually pretty decent from this. I really, um, really do like it. Honestly, I just never really do it because it just takes too long. But you know, I'm just here, so you know, I might as well. Right? Yeah, I could stream the uh, salvage yard robberies. Let's do some more GTA online streams. Just oh, this dude, the last street thing was over here. I might as well sell to him too. He's selling, he's got that for a high price. Thank you very much.
They did add animals to GTA Online. You can see that cat there too. Hey boss, what can I do for you? That's cool, thanks. Alright. Go to the salvage yard. And actually, they, they brought back Yusuf. Yusuf from uh, Bella to Go Tony. He's in GTA Online now. Demolition Man is the one mission where everyone fails at first. Yeah, no, nah, that is. It really is, actually. I mean, I failed it like that, that a lot of times. The first time. Do I, how much money do I have in here? 33k? Might as well pick that up, too. Then we'll do my, um. Tow truck. Do the tow truck stuff. How my snacks? I have this like snack bowl is so bugged. There we go. All right, let's do the tow truck. This might take a little while. Hopefully, you get a good uh, location. Not too bad, not too bad. Where's that at? Eh, it's alright, let's drive there. Why not? We're just, uh, we're just chilling now anyway. We've already did the speed run. <coughs> but yeah, no, this is, um, this has been a. Oh wow, it's 11.30 already. Oh, that's crazy. Should probably get to bed soon. Try to get up early tomorrow and. Start working a bit early. Get that done. And I can just relax and play games. Maybe I try it at a video tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of zoned out for a sec there, I just had like some, some thought on my mind. Which reminds me, there's something I've got to do, which I still haven't done. I'm not going to I can't really say what it is, it's kind of a personal thing, but yeah, i still got to do that. <laughs> Meaning to do it since the weekend, I still haven't even done it. There's too much going on in life right now, honestly, it's just way too much. Luckily we've got a break coming up. Got a break coming up uh, next week. Next week. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy that that break. But I don't think it'll be as cool as last year though. Anyway, um <laughs> Let's go get this ball on. Yeah, I'll probably end the stream. I'll, I'll not not yet. But uh, we'll do a um We'll do a auto shop mission. Probably like sell the cars I have in there too. <coughs> that could be a good thing. Don't blow up the tow truck by that gas. Very nice rock star. I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream GTA Online more often. I think this has been really fun tonight, honestly. This has been super fun. Kind of like makes me want to play GTA Online more and like stream it more. You know, because like I barely play this game anymore. I could definitely, because they, they tease a new update this morning. When I woke up, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, a big update coming out this year. I'm like, yes, okay, Rockstar, I'll probably, I'll definitely play it. 
<coughs> I will definitely play it. Yeah, when I if I do an auto shop mission, I hope I get Union Depository. Via GTA 6, Strangers and Freaks are better than the main story. Yeah, they probably will be, honestly. <coughs> there was some really good ones in GTA 5, like the like the Killer Clowns with Trevor and the, um, the alien one with Michael. <coughs> like the crazy British couple. Oh, that's so funny. And like the guy, um, Dom, the parachute guy, the Franklin. So many good, like there's just a lot of good memorable moments in GTA 5. Obviously, I mean, in my opinion, it's not the best GTA game, but, you know. <coughs> it's definitely like top 3. Definitely top 3. I just hope like Jason and Lucia are um, good characters. I'm really excited to play as Lucia. Yeah, the, the crazy guy likes to jump, and then he ended up jumping off the bridge. Oh, he was in the dam, actually, yeah. <coughs> he jumped off the dam without a parachute. <laughs> I should actually replay the GTA 5 story before GTA 6 comes out. I, I could stream it, actually. could actually stream it. could be fun. We'll see. Most likely I'll do that on the PC version. Just because, you know, PC version. <laughs> play a lot of um, single player games on PC. A few multiplayer games here, but mostly my, my um, Xbox is just for multiplayer games now. Mostly. Majority of people will play um, Lucia over Jason, yeah. Yeah, no, I admit I probably will too. But then again, if it's like GTA 5 with like the, um, like how each character is involved in the story, which I'm sure it will be, but yeah. Like, get a chance to play as all the characters, because I really, really liked the way Rockstar did that in GTA 5 with like Michael Franklin Trevor. People say it wasn't that good. But like, honestly, that was like one of my favorite things about GTA 5, having three protagonists and like you can just like swap to them at any point when you're in free roam. <coughs> and um, yeah, and then you can like see what they're doing and what they're up to and stuff. They, they just did that so well. I don't know if this music's uh, copyright. Um, the zombie Elvis film, like, like the um, the GTA 3 newspapers on the ground. Zombie Michael Jackson found in GTA 6. <coughs> Excuse me. I think, I think that might be. Maybe Zombie Chester, zombie Chester Bennington. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man, this, this whole franchise, man, means so much to me. I don't. I, I think like a lot of people don't realize how much the GTA series means to me, and like many other people, because um, there's this guy I met last year. Um, I don't know if I should really call him out, but like, there's this guy I met last year, and he's like, "Oh, why do you like GTA so much?" I'm like, well, maybe because like, <coughs> like the games have given me so much memories. <laughs> Like, give me so many memories. Bro, it's in the same spot as before, are you kidding me? Well, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get a copyright from... I mean, this is just GTA Online music, so it should be fine. There would be no Watch Dogs, Saints Row, even Cyberpunk without GTA. Exactly. Exactly. 
A lot of like, because like GTA 3, you think about it, that game was like insane when it came out in 2001. I mean, I was only like, how am I old? Like, two. I was two when that game came out. I first played it in 2006. When I was seven. And I, I loved it. That's when I kind of like fell in love with these games. But you know, like, that's the thing. No Cyberpunk, no Saints Row, no Watch Dogs without GTA. It's cool, but I mean, like, with my friend group, it's like half of them don't like GTA mu as much as me, but like, the other half do. Well, not, not many, but like, there's one, there's one friend of mine who... It's always good, like, just chatting about GTA with them and stuff. <coughs> I don't know, like, I, I could just, um... I could just go on about GTA and Red Dead and, like, even Max Payne and stuff for, like, hours, honestly. You know, GTA 3 was just something else, man. Like, it's that game just holds up very well still, in my opinion. <coughs> I still love going back and playing that game. I think the GTA 3 is actually the GTA game I've done the most playthroughs on. I think maybe like 15 or 16 playthroughs of GTA 3. That I've done. I usually like go back to it like maybe twice a year. But it's like I finished like I finished it so many times I could just like speed run the game pretty much. I mean I have speed ran that game before. I finished it in um <coughs> I finished GTA three in under two hours before. Just doing like all the required missions. San Andreas perfected the open world thing. It really did, honestly. Like, that's the thing. I mean, like, San Andreas is like... I mean, it's not my favorite GTA game, of course. But, like, there's just something about that game that I love so much. Honestly, San Andreas. Like, I think maybe it's just the vibes and stuff. Like, early 90s vibes. GTA 4 is renovating. Yeah, GTA 4 really changed, like, the GTA series. Added like a whole cover system, you know. Like the driving, people say the driving sucks in GTA 4. I mean, <coughs> I guess that's their opinion, but like I really like the driving in GTA 4. I thought it was really good. Yeah, perfect 2000s game. Like late 2000s, 2008, 2009, playing like GTA 4 and then like the episodes from Liberty City. Man, good times, eh? Really good times. Like Half-Life 2, change the FPS game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <coughs> Turn that music off. Exactly, like, that's the thing. A lot of these, like, old games, if we didn't get them, we probably wouldn't really have these games now, to be honest. Imagine, just imagine, though, Rockstar, like... <laughs> And like a different timeline of Rockstar milk GTA 4 instead of GTA 5 and GTA Online. <laughs> and then instead of GTA 6, it'd be like, where's GTA 5, Rockstar? Where's GTA 5? <coughs> that would be pretty funny, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, man. If I had more viewers, I probably would like open up like the crew for like Xbox, and, like play with like Xbox players. Maybe PC. I mean, I don't really have high level characters on PC like this character, but like maybe PC. It's just like the whole modding situation on PC is not good. The next GTA will probably take years or more. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know. Hey, eh? like GTA Seven. 
<coughs> I don't even want to think about GTA 7. By the time GTA 7 comes out, I'll probably be like in my late 30s or early 40s. And that is just sad to think about. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be 25 in June this year. So that's kind of crazy. And by the time GTA 6 comes out, I'll be nearly 26 years old. Where's, like, where's the time going? Honestly. It's annoying that this car was in the same spot as the other one. But, you know. I was able to get it, and now I'm probably just going to do like a, auto, a couple of auto shot missions, and I'll probably get, get to bed. <coughs> Next GTA game will probably be named like San Andreas and Vice City. Yeah, you know, like like mixed together in one or something. I kind of would want to see like a like a new location actually, like a location we've never seen before in GTA. Right, There's actually supposed to be a GTA Tokyo game on PS2. That would have been really cool. Named by the place where the game took place. Yeah, kind of like how like Vice City, San Andreas, and yeah, nah, that's probably how it's gonna be. <laughs> or like GTA Los Santos, and then it's like GTA 5's map all over again. <laughs> you get sick of this map though, the GTA 5 map, just because of GTA Online. All right, got the cars. Got the cars. <coughs> Uh, we're gonna chill and probably do like one more mission in GTA Online right now, and then after that, probably in the stream. Oh, my pharmaceutical research is maxed out. Uh, we'll sort that out another time, not right now. I gotta actually go to my secure serve. So we're gonna go to the um, the place. Close shop. I've been streaming for nearly two hours, that's all good. It's probably like a perfect time to stream anyway. Crazy though, this time next year we could be playing GTA 6. <coughs> My prediction for is probably May. May 2025. Alright, we've got a couple of cars I can sell here. Uh, we don't have the Union Depository, but that's fine. I'm thinking maybe we'll probably do the Agency one. You know, yeah, let's just jump straight into the um, Agency one. Oh, you got a swimming mod for Vice City? Actually, that, that's a good idea. <coughs> just gonna have a bite of the chocolate. Mm. Say that tomorrow. Alright, are we gonna start a drug war with the IAA? You know what? I'll call my oppressor. I will call for my oppressor. Alright, yeah, Terabyte. Sorry, I'm just checking something out. My apologies. Uh, we're going to go back into the game. Okay. <coughs> GTA San Andreas stories are the best thing that did not happen. Yeah, I wish they did a San Andreas stories. That would have been really cool. Because I did Liberty City and Vice City stories. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, like, yeah, the story before Carl left Los Santos, or like, I don't know, yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, before Brian died and stuff. Would have been so cool to see that. Whoa! That just blew up. What the hell? 
I have to take a photo of this. Not, uh... What the heck? I can only get out of here. Everything's blowing up. Yeah, before the boss is established, that would be so cool. <coughs> like back when Grove Street like ruled like everything. Yeah, before Crash existed. Yeah, like Ten Penny and Pulaski. Making me want to play San Andreas, actually. <laughs> Haven't played it since last year. I mean, I hope we get a good double money week in GTA this week. We've really had not had a good one. This game is so weird. <coughs> what up, doe? Pitch yourself. What up, doe? What up, doe? What up, doe? What up, doe? Okay. First setup mission down, let's do the second one. We're gonna just do this and then end the stream after this. <coughs> yeah, go I do have a couple of cars I can sell, but I'm not really wanting to sell them right now. Because probably like could get double money um this week on the auto shop. I'm hoping for it. Last time we had a good event week was probably um back in January. <coughs> right, we're gonna call Pegasus. I'm gonna call for a Hydra. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can uh, I help? I'll be in plane. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Don't even need to call Pegasus. You could just like get your own like Hydra from the hangar these days. But like, it's it's easier because like I'm already on my press anyway. And you can't have like a personal vehicle and a personal aircraft out at the same time, which I honestly wish you could. Would be very nice if you could. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to stream more GTA Online. I might even like open up crew for like viewers and stuff if I had more viewers I definitely would <laughs> <coughs> that'll be for Xbox and maybe PC maybe PC but it's just like I, I just get worried about playing GTA Online on PC because like the models and stuff especially streaming it on PC it'll be painful <laughs> Cause I, like I have like low level characters because like Rockstar doesn't let you transfer the character to PC for some reason. And the expanded and enhanced stuff is not even going to be on PC at all, I don't know why. <laughs> right, let's see if I still can do this. I have kind of... Not, I haven't really done an auto shop job in a while. So we're gonna see how this goes. So my strategy is quite good here, actually. Oops. Thing. 
that was pretty successful. I'll take that. Frame rate's very bad right now. Sometimes the frames go really weird on this version. But at least it's not a 30 FPS. <coughs> so it's definitely something I don't want to go back to. There's actually a few games I want to um, rebuy on PC. I almost died just then. There's a few games I should uh, get on PC again, like um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I don't have that on PC because it's not um, 60 FPS on consoles. <coughs> Uh, yeah, no, I want to get that. Uh, Red Dead 2, I should probably get Red Dead 2 on PC as well. And of course, definitely GTA 6 on PC when it comes out on PC. Definitely going to be playing it on console though when it comes out, because I'm not going to wait for it. Why would I wait even longer? I want it now. Perfect. Now, if I want to jump out, I probably have to be quick because, like, when the explosion happens, oh, that's fun. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go! Go! I don't want cops. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Not many people on, on Steam or Discord tonight. Oh. Everyone's uh, doing their own thing. All right, let's go. <sighs> I want you want a hustler. <coughs> let's run with the. Let's go with the privy on. I like the privy on. It's a nice car, the Previon. Previon's always good. Always good. Alright, y'all. <coughs> Pay attention. Let me walk you through this one last time. Bust up into the IAA, find this dealer fool, get him to tell us where his formula's at, get it, deliver, and then we, we kick, kick back and, and count, count them racks. Right. Keep me on speaker. Let me get K in here. What up, though? <laughs> hey, what's going on, K? My draft. Nice landing. This guy. Freaking KDJ, man. Moody man, what up, man, what up, man, what up, man. Just have him call me when you find the guy, all right? You got it. You coming up on the security door yet? Just gotta use that pass you stole. Then once you inside... I wish I streamed more GTA Online over the years, to be honest. But, I mean, it's not too late. We still got, like... Just a bit, um, a bit under a year. I gotta be careful of the AI in here because like they have that laser garbage. 
that I just can't stand. This is why I always like sit here and cover in this mission. While I wait. To like slowly move up. Yeah, slowly moving up. Just like poke out when it's like safe to do so. There's a guy behind there. He's gone. Uh, there's also a few other guys. There's like one guy there and usually gets him. Yeah, see there's that laser stuff. It still happens. Remember the first time that happened to me back in 2014. Man, I wish we were in 2014. Anyway. You close? As soon as you get in there, hang up and call K, I Hey, what's going on out there? And who the fuck are you, you little bitch? Don't look like the rest of these clowns. Fuck off out of here. Where you from, your mama? Put that shit away. One thing I like about this cutscene is, um... Gosh, I didn't talk now, I'll be quiet for a bit. What up, though? We know where we had it? Oh, yeah. Our field agent out there got it in black and white. We just gotta hit the road. How's the party going? Oh, Shit, I wish scared. my ass was right. getting shot at while <laughs> moving up the gears on my motherfucking hellfire instead. But you know, I'm gonna stay Ooh, on the guy. You just gotta like, you gotta play it safe in this mission. I really do like this mission, but like, you really gotta play it safe because the AI in here is ridiculous. Take cover, guys. Take cover, guys. I never heard them say that before. Oh. Throw another bomb, why not? Now I can get out. Now I can get out of here. It's always like a like a slow. You gotta like move really slow. Okay, my car's all the way over here for some reason. Almost done. I'm gonna end the stream after this. It's just after midnight now for me, so I better actually go to sleep in a minute. Really busy day tomorrow. I like to call it a version. Yeah. I got the easy location. That's good. Got the one down by the docks. That's what I like to see. That's what I really like to see. <coughs>
He the kind of motherfucker that gives you money just so you know he don't need it. Shit, we should do some more work for this fool. Cause it's really easy to lose yeah, a cops in these know, missions. Just spin 5k and then you're you good. Of course I set up a roadblock here though. And we ain't gonna disappoint. Mm. That's kind of annoying. But I'm down to two stars now, so that's that's good. I already see it. It's in there. Go for it. Usually, sometimes, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, sometimes, when you do this, can you just like let me dig it, please, Rockstar? Thank you. Sometimes when you do this, it like glitches out. It's really weird. Well, not glitches out, but like sometimes you can never find it. You got it. Why do the cops have to be right there? Okay, we're good. We're good. But yeah, no, definitely this year we're gonna stream a lot. Stream a lot more this year. Kind of losing my voice now. I'm exhausted. But I appreciate everyone watching tonight. It's been a lot of fun. We're gonna come back and do some more GTA Online. Probably on Saturday. I probably won't stream the uh, salvage yard robberies. I'll most likely just do the salvage yard robberies on Friday night. Just like in my own time, just like getting them done. Cause hey, can we actually, that's like my last award. I need two more salvage yard robberies, and I got all the platinum awards for the chop shop. <coughs> she trying to make me lemonade, shit. I think she fucked up. Kind of like her though. You are not taking one for the team, Kay. <laughs> Girl, don't worry about me. Networking is hard work. You feel me? I earned my cut today, motherfucker. Just past two hours on the stream. Nice. Definitely a good spot to end it. <coughs> this has been great. This has been a really good stream. Glad I had this idea today. Probably needed to do something like this anyway. Everything that's going on right now, but yeah. Probably start streaming some Tekken too, but like I'm not gonna stream ranked. I'm probably just gonna stream like just matches with friends. Could be fun. Could be fun. Oh, well, that's an easy 163,000. Easy. I made about nearly a million tonight. <coughs> okay, I actually could do Kaiparika live as well we do like a Kayo stream haven't done Kayo in a while actually Kayo Perico Heist we'll probably like try to speed run that again too but yeah that's gonna be the end of this uh, stream uh, thank you all for hanging out really appreciate everyone hanging out tonight um 957.8 million. Yeah, I just made just under a million in like the two hours I was playing. Really happy with that actually. It's really good. Yeah, of course this controller started messing up. I have to sort that out. Maybe take it in, get repaired. Um, I had to use my original Series X controller that I've had for nearly four years now. Cause and look at the freaking thumbstick. <laughs> well, my nephew did give me these probably start using these um yeah, he gave me like he gave me like blue ones and i also have oh i dropped it uh some gray ones too got like a pair of gray ones there uh but yeah that is going to be the end on the stream thank you all for hanging out
appreciate it a lot. I mean, look at this character. This character means a lot to me too. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some more GTA Online. Uh, we're probably gonna continue the speedrun adventures of the um, Clark and Bell raid. And uh, yeah, and after that, we'll probably move on to like Kai Perico once again and start speedrunning that again. And <coughs> uh, maybe some auto shop jobs and we'll probably just like do some random races and stuff online too. And definitely, we'll probably open up a crew soon. And mo maybe play on PC, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see about that. Could do some 5M too, but yeah. Get some GTA Online stuff going on the channel. Because I've been playing this game for so long. Yet I never like stream it, you know. I never stream it. I'll most likely do a garage tour as well, actually. For this character. It's a lot. And actually, I have some rare stuff. I think I've shown it on the channel before. Uh, if I go to my parents. So this is like my other outfit. like a black hoodie. Kind of cool outfit. The white version, the white hoodie version. Got like a mana hoodie, pretty cool hoodie there. This is my original outfit from 2013. My scuba outfit, which actually works. If you save a scuba outfit, it actually works, which is really, really useful. Got my Fever 105 outfit with like the, these are rare pants, you can't, I don't really think you can get these pants anymore. And the Fever 105 shirt, I got that on New Year's 2018. So yeah, uh, old gen. This is like a kind of like a returning player thing from back in the days when we transferred an Xbox One and PS4. The vivisection shirt. Don't really remember where I got this shirt from. This is from Liberty City Stories, which is pretty cool. Got like a fever shirt with like the black hoodie. Got like a racing outfit. Got a snowman outfit. It's the blue outfit, and then this is like a summer outfit. My original outfit with the light up shoes. Got a Cluck and Bell one, it's pretty cool. <coughs> Got this uh, like fever with like a denim jacket. And these were my Christmas outfits. These outfits, man. Oh man, the Christmas event from 2023 was so good. Happy Holidays Hauler. The freaking, oh man. So I got like a E. Cola one, and I also got a Sprunk version as well, but I was with this one. And I, I had a Santa hat, of course. So I can't wait to use these again this year once more. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out on the stream. Uh, I don't think anyone's here anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really appreciate everyone watching. Thank you for joining. It means a lot. Really appreciate that. Um, we will do this again. We're going to continue to be running the um, Clark and Bell raid. <coughs> but yeah, with that, I thank you all. And I will see you in my next stream. I've tried to do a video tomorrow if I can. i got a, like a big thing i got to work on tomorrow. So I can't really do much at the moment. But I'll try to do a video tomorrow if I can. But yeah, no, that's 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 it. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you, thank you all for watching, everybody. Um, we'll see you in my next stream or video. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good day wherever you are, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you all. Goodbye.